Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing a Spongebob shirt. We're not gonna mind that. I'm really sick right now. Um, I went to the hospital because I thought that I had the coronavirus. I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was literally shivering, like shivering. And I was like super hot, like I had a fever, but I was super cold. And then um, I got really scared because my throat hurt really bad and I was coughing and then I coughed up blood and I was like, oh my God. And I literally thought that I had the coronavirus and I was so scared I started crying. Um, and then I drove myself to the hospital and then I actually just had a strep throat. So everything's fine. I added these little things to my wall and they kind of look weird because like that looks all bunched up but like it's bunched up because of that. But I like don't want to put my head right here because then I'm not- well I mean I guess I could. I don't really care. Anyways, um today I'm going to be telling you guys a story of my teenage years. In my last video I asked you guys if you guys wanted to hear story times and a lot of comments said that you guys did want to hear story times. So that's really exciting to me so I have something to talk about when I'm doing makeup. Um, I have a whole bunch of stories from my teenage years that are really bad and um, maybe if I tell you guys you guys can learn to not do these things. You know? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this one specific story of my 18th birthday. Um, it's a good one. It's a really good one. <laughs> I'm not going to do too much explaining on what I'm doing because I just really want this video to be mostly about the story and it would just take a really long time if I explained what I was doing and talked about the story so I'm just going to talk about the story. The way that I got myself into this situation was it was my 18th birthday and I was supposed to go to this concert. It's a concert that happens every year either on my birthday or like around the days of my birthday so I would always go to it right? This one year, whoa, that color is fucking dark. I did not expect it to be that dark. Anyways, and my friend was supposed to drive out from Arizona and take me up to the bay with her because it was in um, San Francisco. And then, anyways, she ended up not being able to take me anymore. And I was like, how the hell am I going to get there? I already bought my tickets. This is my plans for my 18th birthday. I'm like, fuck. What am I gonna do? And I had like no way to get up to the bay. At this point, I didn't have a job. Like I couldn't buy like a flight up there or anything. So like I was really relying on her to take me there. I was like thinking what to do. I was like crying to my mom and I was like, mom, I really wanna go. What am I gonna do? I didn't have a license, so I, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a license or anything. So I couldn't drive myself up there. Like crying to my mom. And like this was at the time that I was like literally supposed to be leaving my house to go. And I literally had no way to get there. And I'm just like sitting there plotting in my head like, what the fuck am I going to do? I was like, I need to do something about this. I'm not not going. Like, I'm going. Like, I have to go. I'm just sitting there crying to my mom and my sister being like, oh, I want to go so bad. And my best friend's just there. And we're all just like, fuck. And then I ended up just like plotting in my head. And I was like, you know what? If I want to go, I'm going to go. So my mom left the room. And then I told my best friend, I was like, Bitch, you think we're not fucking going? Like, we're going. And she's like, what? I'm like, we're going. <laughs> Mind you, I live in San Diego, which is like Southern California. Where I needed to be was Northern California. A whole, I don't know, 300 miles upwards is where I had to be. <laughs> I just looked on the map and it's actually 500 miles away. Just saying. <laughs> and I was all the way at the bottom. And I had one day to get there. I don't know why, but my mom would always let me take her car without a license. I don't know why she let me do that, but like, I know that's like illegal and like you're not supposed to do that, but my mom just let me do that. And my friend packed her bags. Um, I told my mom, I said, Mom, can I have the keys? I'm hungry. I want to go eat. And then um, I took the keys and we literally packed our bags. And I live at this, I live on the bottom floor of my house now, but at this time I, I lived upstairs. Um, we had to literally throw our duffel bags off off of like um the top floor <laughs> and literally the home the homeowners association or whatever hoa was right across the street from me and the lady literally saw me throwing <laughs> my bags from the roof and i was like it's okay it's okay and i was like oh my god i thought that i was gonna get caught like right then and there and i didn't thank god um but yeah so i told my mom that i was gonna go and get food so um we left we put the bags in the car without her knowing because we threw them and then we went and we went on our way and i felt really bad about it <laughs> honestly i would always do bad shit as a teenager but i would feel bad about it and what i was doing was wrong and i felt bad while i was doing it but i would do it anyways and i don't know why but yeah, okay, so 10 minutes driving out. Mind you, this car didn't, this car wasn't registered. I didn't have a license. So this was just all bad. Like, if we got caught by the cops some way, like, I would have gotten in so much fucking trouble. I called my mom. I wasn't just gonna, like, you know, leave my mom just, like, wondering where the fuck I was. Like, I told, I called her, like, 10 minutes out, and I was like, Mom, I took the car, I'm driving to San Francisco, and I'm not coming back. 
I'm going to this concert. I'm sorry. I have to go. I, it has to be done. Like, I told her. I said, it has to be done. And she started freaking the fuck out like any normal mom would fucking do. There was a couple moments where I was, like, thinking to myself, like, I should just turn back. I'm like, this is too fucked up. I'm like, this is probably the worst thing I've ever done. Like, I should probably turn around and not do this. But, you know, I definitely didn't do that. And I just kept driving. And then my oldest sister called me out of nowhere. And my oldest sister's kind of always been, like... Um, like a mom, like she's always trying to be like a mom to me, my older sister, like ever since I was little. So, you know, she called me and she starts fucking screaming at me too. And she's like, we're going to report the car stolen if you don't get home right now. Like, oh my God, Corey, like we already reported it stolen. Like we told our uncle, like my uncle's like a fucking sheriff or whatever. And she's like, we already told him, like you better get home now. Like we're going to report it stolen. You're going to get in so much trouble. And then I literally was just like, oh my God, oh my God. And I just like didn't do anything about it. I just kept trying. I just kept driving and I felt really bad but I just I just had to do it I you know I had one I have a one track mind and my mind was just set on going to that concert and that's all that I could do and that's all that I thought about doing and that's all that I could get myself to do I wasn't gonna turn home I was gonna turn around and go home like you expect me to turn around and go home after I already did that no I was already going I know a lot of you guys are gonna watch this and be like my mom would have literally beat my ass I have no idea how my mom didn't whoop my ass anyways the drive's like hella long like literally like such a long fucking drive like eight hours so like eight hours i'm just like debating turning around and i'm just like not doing it um we end up going to my friend riley's house um love her riley and we end up going to her house and that's where we were gonna stay um because she lives up in sacramento which is like next to it if you like know about california so we get to riley's house and um, we get settled um my mom's still pissed but at this point she's just given up the car is reported stolen um i don't know i'm just you know still out there living life <laughs> she knew where i was she knew what i was doing i was up in the bay before like i've gone there multiple times like she knew i was safe but yeah there was not much she could do at that point which is kind of fucked up but yeah so i just went up there <laughs> I enjoyed my time, but then um, I instantly got hella karma. <laughs> hella karma. Instantly. Instantly. The first time we spent at Riley's house, the next day was my birthday. Um, we were bored. So then this artist has like this road that he like grew up on or whatever. So then we were like, oh, let's go see this road. So then we go there and then I don't know. This, this part of the story doesn't really matter either, but I'm just tell you guys anyways i ended up hitting riley with my car because she was like in the middle of the road and i just thought it'd be funny to hit her like i didn't like hit her hard but like i like definitely hit her um she was recording it so i'll put that i'll put that in just so y'all can just see that Um, I hit Riley with my car. Um, we laugh about it all the time because you can like literally see me driving <laughs> and you can see me go and hit her which was just really hilarious to us but that part of the story doesn't matter either. Like the point of my birthday was like to go up there for the concert but like on my actual birthday we were so bored. So then anyways this DJ hits up my friend and then he's like oh you guys are in the bay like you want to come hang out with me and my friends and we're like I guess. So then anyways, um, they're like, come to this hotel, and we're like, alright, whatever. So, um, mind you, I'm like, driving without a license, I didn't really know how to drive. Like, I knew, I obviously got myself from San Diego to the Bay, but that's literally just the five completely straight. Like, that's a fucking straight-ass freeway. Like, it doesn't take a lot of skill to drive straight on a freeway for eight hours. So, yeah, um, I didn't really know how to drive that well. <laughs> But yeah, and then I guess we get to our destination. It was literally a ratchet ass Motel 6, like disgusting. I don't know. Is that how I wanted to spend my 18th birthday? No. Was it worse stealing my mom's car? No. So we pulled up to this Motel 6, and I don't know what the fuck I did. I don't know what I did, okay? <laughs> But I was like driving and I literally went into the wrong entrance and there was like a chain in front of the entrance that I didn't see because I'm literally stupid. Like I was supposed to wear glasses so that might have been a problem too. But like literally like I don't know how I didn't see the fucking chain. But there was literally a chain like hanging down in front of the entrance and my ass literally started going through it. And it literally sounded like the car was like getting crushed. It sounded like the car was like going in like a compress. Like it sounded like the whole thing was getting smushed. I literally thought I was gonna die. I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god. Oh my god. And I like didn't, I don't know why I didn't stop, but I was like, fuck it, like I'm already halfway through it, like might as well just keep going through it. 
and it was the loudest noise I've ever heard in my whole fucking life. It was so loud. And we were all in this car and we were like all freaking out and we were like, oh my god. So then we just like, the car was still working so I just like parked it. And then, um, and then we got out of the car and I'll just, there's videos of this literal fucking thing happening in this very moment of when I found out what happened. But yeah, here's the, here's the fucking videos. <laughs> <laughs> These came off a fucking car for you. So yeah, what happened was um there was surf racks on top of the car because my dad goes surfing <laughs> and the fucking chain ripped off the fucking surf racks and I was like oh my god and i didn't know what to do i literally didn't know what to do. i was like do i put them back in the car like can i put them back on like i didn't know what to do so i literally just threw them in a bush <laughs> this video literally is making me look like such a bad person i'm a changed woman now i fucking promise <laughs> but literally this is also instant karma you need to hear what happens next because literally after like it was instant karma like i literally got my karma like instantly after things were happening instantly bad things were happening like i literally like kept karma just kept happening <laughs> like what the fuck like karma's real like literally like karma did not let me down on this fucking trip like she gave it to me right away right away <laughs> Anyways, we get to the freaking hotel and I've never met these boys before. I guess my friend was like damning him on Instagram for a while, I guess. I don't really know what this whole fucking deal was, but it was something to do. And my dumbass was like, okay, fine, let's go. Um, we get into this hotel and we start hanging out with these boys. Maybe we drink Henny and Captain Morgan. Like, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. But yeah, um, we were all having a good time. Everything was fun. It was whatever, like it was fine like everything was perfectly fine so yeah these guys seemed fine like they didn't seem like they would like be bad people like they didn't seem like they were gonna do anything wrong like they seemed fine you know so anyways the night goes by everything's perfectly fine just celebrating my birthday with these random people because <laughs> that's like what people do you know on their 18th birthday i guess end up like at like four in the morning they ended up being like we're going fishing and i was like fishing what do you mean fishing they're like yeah we need to go fishing right now like this is the time that we need to go fishing like we're going right now and i was like well, all right bet i'm going to sleep and we're just in there in the morning and then we're just you know like getting ourselves together because at this point we're in fairfield and we have to drive to like san francisco like the city like we have to drive over there i don't know if you're familiar with that area but it's like it was like a little bit of a drive so we had to like prepare, prepare ourselves to drive over there so we were like okay let's just like calm down for a little bit a little bit and we were just oh my god and we were just oh my god and we were just hanging out in the hotel um it's time to leave um we get in the car and we're like oh my god we're hungry let's go get something to eat you know we're broke bitches so we go to the fucking wendy's drive through to get four for fours um we look at our wallets all of us were robbed they took all of our money <laughs> all of our money the only money that we had to get home they took all of it literally down to the fucking quarters in my coin purse they took everything i was like you've got to be kidding me i was like we spent the whole night with those guys and they literally robbed the fuck out of us <laughs> they're like okay we're going fishing trying to seem innocent no you just robbed us fuck all y'all <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> And I was like, okay, bam, karma again. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell? You know? Karma was just fucking slapping me in the face. Like, she did not wait. She did not wait to come. So, yeah, we're literally in the Wendy's drive-thru. Um, like, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Like, we were literally in the Wendy's drive-thru. And we were like, oh, well, we have no money. So, we literally just skirted out of the fucking Wendy's drive-thru. I just drove the car the fuck out of there. And I was like, okay. And then we just, like, had a kind of the realization that we got fucking robbed. And we're like, oh, what the fuck are we gonna do? How are we gonna get home? We have no fucking gas money. My tank is almost on E. We're supposed to, I was like, do we, like, try to drive home on this? Or do we just say fuck? it and drive to fucking san francisco and go to the concert and you know do what we came here for and try to figure it out you know <laughs> like what the fuck and so um that's what we did we definitely drove to san francisco we didn't try to drive home we definitely drove to san francisco and did what we came there for you know we got that far like might as well have just gone to the fucking concert like that's what we fucking came there for so anyways we're just driving with the fucking gas tank on e to the fucking concert and we're like well this is what we came for this is what we're gonna do might as well have a good time and we'll figure this shit out later <laughs> so
So I just kept driving and we were literally starving. We we're so hungry. And I was like, oh my god, we're hungover. How are we supposed to survive this for like a whole day? We have no money. We we're so hungry. We literally just wanted a 444. We couldn't even afford a 444 because they literally stole our change. Stole everything. Fucking assholes. Like, what the hell? I wonder what the fuck they're doing right now. Assholes. Anyways, um, ended up, you know, going there, going to the concert, had a great time. Um, my friend was there and her mom was there too because this person like had went on tour prior to this and my friend was the opening act and anyways her mom was there with her they were like there to support her or whatever and i was telling her her name is jill i was like jill we got robbed i was like what the fuck i was like my birthday was yesterday we got robbed these guys took all our money like i took my mom's car like i don't know how i'm gonna get home like i'm freaking out like i don't know what to do and mama jill comes to the rescue and she's like here she's like here's a hundred dollars here's your birthday present i'm like oh. jill saved my life i will never forget that JC, I love your mom if you're watching this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this happens to me, but for some reason, I get myself into really fucking shitty situations, but I always get myself out of them somehow. I always get myself out of them. For some reason, this time it was Mama Jill coming to the rescue, but you know, there's always some type of little savior that comes and picks me up, which is why I think that I continue to do bad shit. Cause I never really learned my lesson, so I kind of just look back now and I'm like, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. Um, my mom was mad as fuck at me this whole time. Um, I didn't really even celebrate my birthday with my family, which is kind of sad. Um, because I was just out being bad. <sighs> Why did I do that? You made for a good story. I had a great time. <laughs> I don't want to justify this, but like, I had a good time. Like, you only live once. Don't steal your mom's car though. Don't take that as me saying to go do that <laughs> but you know live your life have fun <laughs> do what you want you know but don't steal your mom's car maybe like if she lets you take it go have fun but like don't don't steal it because <laughs> then you'll get robbed like i did do you want to get robbed i don't think so I ended up driving home you know and my birthday is the 21st so this was like the 21st of december so like christmas was like you know they were on like I drove home the day after the concert. It was like the 22nd, the 23rd. I drove home on the 23rd, so the day that I was driving home the next day was Christmas Eve. So like you know I had to like go, go home and like hang out with my family for Christmas, acting like I didn't just steal a fucking car and drive across um, the state, which was fun. I never got to drive my parents' car ever again. Um, I had to get my license before they ever let me drive it. I tried to tell my dad that the surf box got stolen, but he could, like, literally see the scratch marks on the car. And he was like, are you stupid? Do you think I'm stupid? Like, obviously, that's not what happened. So, obviously, he knew. I didn't get away with that. <laughs> um, I was driving without a license. The car wasn't registered, and the car was reported stolen, and I somehow got home without being arrested. I don't know. Is that good luck? God was definitely on my side. Actually, God was probably not on my side at all. He was probably watching me the whole time, like. My parents were so fucking mad at me, but I don't know how they didn't, like, literally kick me out of the house and take away my privileges forever of anything ever, but I think that it being literally Christmas time, like, they didn't want to, like, ruin that. So, um, they kind of just... <laughs> acted like it didn't happen but I definitely was never able to drive the car ever again that's the story of the time that I stole my mom's car and I drove to San Francisco and then I hit my friend with a car and then I got robbed and then I couldn't get home and then yeah that's that what do I talk about now you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go finish my face off a of camera and I'm gonna be right back I got you can just see it bitch <sighs> Okay, I'm just gonna let it dry and then hopefully it'll come off. She's cute. She's whatever. This skin? The skin? What? I think it's my acne scarring and it's kind of making me sad. Ew. I don't know. What was that noise? I don't know what that noise was, but it kind of scared me. Cause I'm all by myself in my room and I'm the only one downstairs so I really hope there ain't no one trying to hurt me I have a huge fear of being murdered
I don't want to be murdered. Isn't it crazy how I just grew lips? Like literally like one minute ago I had none and now I have some. Lip liner. Period. I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to clean my mess and I'm going to be right back. Key okay, oogie bye. Okay, I tried to do that one hair off TikTok and I kind of just look crazy. Like I look like a Google person. Um, we're just gonna like look at it from like this side. Look at it like this. I'm gonna put lip gloss on. I don't know if that's gonna be too much for this, but this is the Hattrick Star lip gloss. I don't even think they sell this anymore. It's from Mac. It's called Cream Cream Pie. Cute. Why did he name it that? That's interesting. I don't understand it. It looks so cute on some girls on TikTok, but just I don't know. It looks kind of fucking weird. Like I look, it looks like my ears. Am I tripping? I'm like, I feel like I'm like insecure. Stop looking at me. You know, like that's what I feel like. Um, I love you guys so 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 much. If you guys want me to do a Shein haul, I literally bought so much clothes from them, like freaking 40 items. So if you guys want to see a haul, I'll show you guys. I'm like um 10k away from hitting 100k, and I'm literally freaking out because that's literally insane. Um, I literally don't know what to do with myself. I'm gonna freak out. Um, I want to release merch um when I hit 100k. I'm in the process of making it. If you guys are gonna buy it, let me know. If I shouldn't, um. Let me know that too, like if I should like wait until like the future or like if you guys would buy it now, like just let me know, okay? Let me know. I'm trying to talk really fast because the camera's about to die. But I love you guys so much. Please stay safe. Please stay in your house. Um, I hope that you and your families are safe. I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Have a great day wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!